Since most students come from a Windows background, they're familiar with the concept of file extensions. Files may end in a .txt, .doc, .ppt, right? and those extensions in Windows tell the system which application is associated with that extension. So they're an integral part of the Windows operating system. Not so in Linux. Most of the time, we put extensions on files so that we, the users, can reference what that is easily. So in the case, if it's a text file, or maybe it's a shell script, maybe it's an RPM, but the extensions themselves are not necessary for those files to work correctly in a Linux operating system. I'll demonstrate that for you in a second. And along with that, I want to talk about a very useful command, the file command. The file command allows us to determine exactly what type of file we're looking at. So as you'll see, I'll use these together, and you'll see how both of these topics work in a Linux environment. So to demonstrate these topics, I'm going to have to copy a couple of files. First, I'm going to move into the downloads folder in student's home directory. And then I'm going to use a command just to quickly search for a couple of different files on the file system so I can copy in there. We'll be going into this command in more detail in a later lecture. The command is locate. And I'll just tell a system to locate anything that ends with a .pdf. And I'll grab one of these, and we'll take this one right here. You can highlight it and then center mouse click, and then I'll space dot to tell it to copy it here. Next, I'll look for anything that ends with a JPEG extension. We'll do the same thing, copy, and we'll grab this one. Highlight, center mouse button, space dot to copy it in my current directory. So I have two files that have extensions. Once again, those extensions are there for me to identify easily what type of file they are. So I can tell immediately that that's a JPEG and that's a PDF file. Linux doesn't need file extensions to associate or to work correctly with a particular format of a file. Linux doesn't require file extensions to work correctly with a particular file type. What we will do next is take a look at the file command and then change the extensions and see if that has any effect on the files themselves. The file command is a very handy command because it allows me to look into a file without actually opening it and come back and tell me what the command thinks that file is. So for instance, if I run the file command against the JPEG, guitar JPEG, it comes back and says that it's a JPEG image file. If I run it against the PDF, file, it'll come back and correctly, correctly identify it as a PDF file. Now, it doesn't matter if I rename these, so I will, I'll change guitar JPEG to guitar PDF, and then I'll move the PDF and rename it JPEG. In the Windows system, this would cause error messages because those files have been renamed with the improper extension. But as you see, if I file against guitar, and its extension is now PDF, the system still comes back and identifies it correctly. That's a JPEG file. And the same thing will happen when we look at the PDF. Now it has a JPEG extension. The the command comes back, looks in the file, and comes back with the correct format of that file, which is a PDF document. This is really handy because you may have instances where you don't have extensions on something and you want to find out what exactly that file is. For instance, I'll touch the 
what I've done is create an empty file, as you can see with the touch command, but I gave it the RPM extension. You'll notice that because it does have an extension, there's a color associated with the RPM, just as there is with PDF and JPEG. So it gives you a good example that the colors themselves are not reliable because we know that is not an RPM, it's just an empty file. But if we run the file command against it, the file command will come back and tell me that it is not an RPM, it is just empty. So the file command is very useful when working with a Linux or any Unix operating system to correctly identify the files, whether they have an extension or not.